This is still the day that the Lord has made. We are called to rejoice and be glad in it. And today we continue to talk about the unconditional love of God towards us. God's love does not depend on us. It is independent of us. He loves us because he made us. And because of his love, when we receive it, we can in turn love him and love others. And today we want to talk about what Paul says. Three words found in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 and it declares love is patient the word of God to the people of God and I encourage you to read it is in entirety and hear what God does for us through his love as believers we should daily seek to imitate Christ Jesus love to us God's love for us as individuals should motivate us to love as he loves us. God could have rushed up on us in the middle of our folly and snatched us out without hope. But instead, he is still patient towards us long suffering willing that we don't perish but that we have everlasting life here god is teaching us patience endurance tolerance fortitude but we must submit to his love that we can learn of him if we don't submit to the love of God, we will not learn to be patient. Patience is an attribute of the fruit of the Spirit. Only Holy Spirit can help us to produce the amount of patience we need in the season. Sometimes it is a little, and other times it is much. But if we are not led by Him, if we don't submit, to the love of God, we will miss all the time. I like what Hebrews wrote, chapter 10, verse 36. You must be patient. After you have done what God wants, you will get what he promised you. And James backed it up in chapter 1, verse 4. If you let patience work in you, the end result will be good. You will be mature and complete. You will be all that God wants you to be. The word of God to the people of God. And so let's allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. Let's submit to the love of God for his love is patient and he wants us to learn patience in that we will possess our souls father we thank you and we praise you for teaching us today how to be patient we can only be patient when we allow holy spirit to work in and through us and so today As we live in your love, may we teach others. May our light shine so bright. May the salt be so salty so that others will know that there is another way. That there will be patience in families. That we're patient with one another on the job, wherever we may be. Because we're allowing Holy Spirit to generate in us this that we need and so we ask your forgiveness for missing opportunities for causing us to look the other way when we should look to you thank you father for after we have done your will after we are patient doing your will 
we will be thoroughly furnished wanting nothing. I pray now against all the plans of the enemy to kill, steal, and destroy. God, I thank you today that we will learn and do your will right now. We bless you for those who lead the nations as we commend them to you. They too be patient. They too would allow your love to rule and reign and bend, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families. We commend them to you. Those who make decisions to rule our nation, to lead in education, law enforcement, in all aspects, we pray that we will look to you and be patient, indeed allowing you and your will to be done. We commend parents today. Oh God, fathers and mothers, siblings, we command brothers and sisters, and we thank you that our children will learn from us as we seek to do your will. Now, oh God, touch those who live for Christ today as we seek and give thanks for the peace of Jerusalem. Even now, we commend to you, and we say, Lord, have your way. Heal the sick today. Bring understanding even now. Those who are diseased, we pray miracle, working hand of God upon them right now. And we give you thanks in all things, O oh God. We give you praise. What is your will that we do it even now? This we act in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my family in Christ. Let's allow patience to rule in us today. For love is patient. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.